I guess it's great timing to have Jerome back. Um, obviously, you're certain about his fitness. Otherwise, you know, you've got the bye coming up. So you'd... yeah, well, obviously, you know, we we still got you know we haven't trained this week, so um, we'll just you know, just double down on that this afternoon. To be quite honest, you know, like as you say. With a bike coming up, we're not going to take any risks. If, um, you know, but he's very, very confident. That he's okay. He's um, and the, the physio, you know, thinks he's done enough work, um, you know, to be ready to play as well. So um, there are obviously uh, positive signs, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll check him out today. See how he goes. Do you have to leave Munster's injury out of the equation? Um, you know, just because you've lost him, I guess put more emphasis on Jerome coming back. Oh, no, no, no. At the end of the day, it's, yeah, that's, you know, it's obviously a, a good thing for us, you know, with the Munster injury for, you know, for Jerome to come back. But, you know, we're, we're not just going to put him back in because Munster's out. No. But, yeah, yeah, so we'll just see how, um, see how he goes again today and everyone's happy. We'll, we'll put him in if he's, with any doubt at all, you know, we won't because, you know, we've got another two weeks, so, um, yeah, we'll be. The way the team played out in that second half must give you, you know, plenty of belief and confidence that, you know, if you are without both of them, that you can get the job done. Oh, yeah, like, again, it's not really me that matters about the confidence, it's about them, you know, so um, the way they did, play, you know, start the second half would have been started and then you know continued like it would have been easy to say this is getting too hard here Musters out you know we haven't got perhaps and we haven't got Yuzi but yeah you know, they all look like to me that they all double down and um yeah you know, again just really important they know what their their role is and you know be really determined you know to do it and that's what it what it looked like you know so um yeah I was real real happy real proud of the way they they played after a couple of setbacks and you know like they're there for a, we had a golden you know 10 or 12 minute period there and you know that sort of put the um, you know took the, the game away from Parramatta and um, yeah so I like say yeah it was it was real good how they responded. In terms of Cameron's injury was there ever a consideration to have surgery or? No that, that hasn't been you know it's been mentioned but uh, they haven't really um, you know the the medical team don't, you know, don't think that's probably the right way to go or the best way to go. Um, so, again, we'll, you know, that, that, that's what they're here for, to make, make those sort of decisions. And um, you know, we'll just get them into, into rehab now and see how it goes. And hopefully, um, you know, he'll be, it looks like you know, he's going to be eight or ten weeks, which um, you know, still gives him plenty of time you know, if, we're, if we're there at the end to, for him to hopefully play, play a part. So you've got Manly um, on Friday. Although they've lost their last few, they've it's only been by the smallest of margins. So and they're always top of home. I guess you're expecting. Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, they were, you know, obviously the Broncos been by a point last week, but they were you know, pretty unlucky to be quite honest. You know, I think you know, the Broncos would say that too. And um, you know, I think they led Canberra by 20s nil, and then got you know beaten by two. So yeah, they don't think. Luck's gone gone their way, so you know we know what a capable side they are, and uh, you know it's always always a tough game at Brookvale. Um, in terms of um, Brad Arthur, obviously you close mates with him. Have you reached out to him since? Uh, I haven't actually spoken. I haven't spoken to you know Brad for a while. You know, he sort of you know, get sort of stuck in your own little world, but um, yeah, like I say, I haven't spoken to him yet. I'll probably give him a call in the next day or two, but um, yeah, it's like. I, you know, they, you know, I'm not in their inner circle, so I don't really know. It's, but it seems like a, a tough call. But you know, like I say at the end of the day, uh, is what it is, and um, yeah, you know, I'm sure he'll find another club. And um, like I say, he's a he's a good coach. He, he's a really good person. So um, you know, he'll, he'll 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 find another job there at some stage. In terms of replacement, Jason Riles gets mentioned as a, as a possibility, do you expect the Eels to come after him? And I well, know you'll have to ask them that or, or Jason, so you know, at the end of the day he's, you know, he's doing a good, really good job for us here Jason, you know, and um, but like I say at the end of the day that's, you know, that's, no, that's in my control so we'll see what happens. What's his job here at the moment since he came back, is he still doing sort of defence and that or is he more Oh, yeah, he's he, he's doing some defence now with our ruck and um, you know a little bit of team stuff. But he's also you know taking on 
the role as uh, you know leadership coach and doing a couple of little things out, outside you know, of that. So um, a bit in recruitment and, and whatever. So just sort of mixing a little bit up for him. And um, yeah, like I say, it's not quite sure what's going to happen there. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's you know we're not going to concern ourselves with things we don't know what are going to happen or not going to happen. So like I say, we just you know it'll play out as it goes. But I'm sure you would. We wouldn't let him go without a fight. He's pretty valuable to the organisation. Oh, I'd like to say, yeah, no, we, yeah, you know, again, we wouldn't want him to go, but at the end of the day, it's not very often you get, yeah, you know, those sort of opportunities. So, you know, if he really wanted to go, I, I wouldn't imagine we'd stand in his way.